let me cut in a minute. Keep an eye on Mike in the red canoe as we keep working about an hour into this treat. Everything was going well until right there. <laughs> I can't repeat what Mike said the moment a vine grabbed his glasses, his only glasses, and plunked them into the bayou. It wasn't really scandalous, I just don't remember. He was so sure the glasses were gone forever, but I couldn't leave it at that. Diving for glasses would make a great story, even if I didn't find them. So, off to the bank to doff my gear <laughs> and my glasses. Usually when I'm diving, the water is more or less transparent, and I'm in my scuba gear. Neither of those were the case on Bayou Fountain. Naturally, I had to psych myself up for the swim, and when I hit the water, oh, it was cold! So I got my feet down to the bottom and felt around something twig-like. Caught that with my toes, carefully brought it up to grab it and... Glasses! Hey Mike, are these yours? I can't believe how easily we found his glasses. We've lost saws and loppers and tools, oh my, in the bayou, but his glasses just happened to fall in the one spot with a hard clay bottom and almost no debris. We can't guarantee we'll find anything you might drop in the bayou, but at least this time... <laughs> success! I told Mike we'd get a good story out of it. Oh, and for a little lanyap, a demonstration of one way to get back in a canoe in deep water. Climb on near the end, not the middle, and you're much less likely to roll the boat. Well, class's recovery mission successful. We now return you to your regularly scheduled time-lapse.